Hey guys, welcome to another Cupid from Twitch tutorial. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can actually get the response from your buttons and then passing the instructions into a function or a statement or whatever you want to do with the response. So before I start, I want to say that on the last video, I was supposed to talk to you about buttons fully, but I forgot to mention about the neutral buttons. So I'm just going to quickly talk about that before we head on to what we're here to do today. So let's go draw it and this time we're going to be setting dialog button so dialog button so we're going to say set sorry turn my caps lock on set neutral button text and inside of here we're going to be saying um, something like a hit me knit let's say mute for neutral so um, let's save this and let's run and let's set the output so we have three buttons here now instead of the two we had before and this time the first one says yes we are the second one says hit me mute and the third one which is a negative says no we aren't so yes we are and here's the id response now we chose positive and gave out the response which which is the positive response and you can notice here that this result here has okay this result here has a list inside of it and the list inside of this response is positive so we can actually assess this result list by using this list of the result variable and then passing this response and checking if this equals positive remember we talked to you we talked about that in um, the list tutorial before if you haven't watched that you should watch it up here i'll put a link down up there above or you can watch it out in my description below so let's just get that response so the response should be the results from inside of the the, um, the response here and the results should be I think um, let's say result which yeah so you use square brackets and then you parse in the wish and equals whatever result you, you should have so your result should be here okay so the result you have should be in this place so if you had positive results it should be here if you had a negative result it should be here also if you had a, uh, uh, an intro result it should be here also let's make three of this first of all and let's let's just copy and paste this over and over again so result which equals positive and let's make one for neutral and let's also make one for negative now we have three results let's just pass this down so we know it's just underneath the response here okay so yeah let's pass it down here now the response is what is going to be carrying the draw the dialog so now since we're passing this with the variable and each of these is inside of this place we need to add the responses so we need to just concatenate that before the results so let's add the response and let's concatenate it so let's do the response and add the response here response and let's add another response here also down below here so I'll add the response okay now we have three responses one for the positive one for the neutral and also one for the negative now let's create simple if statements and else statements now if you do not understand if and else you can also watch the video up there too or down below in my description so yeah let's get on with it so if okay let's make a variable with this also instead of calling all of this inside of this if statement you should just call that the variable so it, let's call this um, positive and um, yeah this is positive and let's call this negative and okay, actually this is neutral so neutral and of course that this one now is a um, negative okay so we have three responses one for negative one for neutral and also one for positive 
so let's move this upwards and let's move the if statement down okay so let's pass now if statement down here so this let's label it so we can have easy referencing so let's call this uh, responses okay and let's just call functions down and let's create a simple if statement so the first statement we're going to call in the if and remember we've already created the variable here with the positive so let's say if positive which is if the response or result is equal to positive we need to pass in this function this function or this we need to execute this code down below so if positive let's let's just make something really simple let's just call it uh let's say print uh let's say okay hey man i'm pause you okay this is a simple code whatever function or whatever thing you want to write underneath this if statement will also work fine i'm just giving it something very simple so you guys can understand what i'm talking about and let's also create another if statement here so we'll copy this let's paste this and let's say um if negative okay so we we'll say if negative and let's pass in something here and say i'm neg <laughs> Negro, Negro, yow. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit racist. <laughs> let's just go with Neg. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's that. And let's just pass in the last one and say um, LF neutral. Okay, and yeah, and let's just print out a. Um, uh, let's say something really simple. Let's say hi. It's me, yo boy, Newt. Okay, now so we have three conditions here. We have the if, let's just separate this out so we can have um, a bit of space in there. So we have the if condition that has the positive, let's check our spellings, a negative condition that has a negative, and also the neutral condition that has a neutral. So let's test our code and let's run. And remember at the end we'll also be printing out the response so we'll know whatever we pick and see if it corresponds and let's run this code okay now it's asks us for the guests are we gonna eat dogs and you say yes we are you say hey man i'm pausio and it says hey man i'm nigio now we're having this errors because something is wrong so let's check our code okay uh, Okay, so let's try using the if here. Okay, and let's save this and let's run. See if it fixes anything. Okay, so yes, we are. Whoa, it prints out all of them. The result is negative, but it prints out all of them. Okay, let's see what's wrong here. Okay, so probably I think there's an issue down up here. So let's just check out our place and see if this. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the issue, the reason we're having this issue is because I actually use the equal to sign. So I think I should be using the double equal to sign because we're testing. So please take note of that. So let's try our code again and so let's see if it works. Okay. Okay. Yes, we are. And yes, it gives us a positive response yeah but now it doesn't print out so let's see what's wrong down here oh for crying out loud i keep making these errors with spellings jeez positive what the hell <laughs> let's save this again and let's run what is <laughs> going on with me so yes we are and it gives us hey man i'm pausio so let's try it out with negative and see if it works exactly the same and no we aren't Hey man, I'm Paul's Negio. And of course, neutral, my main G is always on the neutral. Hit me up, new. And it says, hit me up, boy, new. I'm mute. Uh, so that's how you use um, positive, negative, and neutral buttons and get responses from them. Um, I'm going to copy this code now and I'm going to head back to my QPython app and 
probably everything else will work fine oh definitely will work fine i know for sure so let's just copy all of this and i'll see you guys over there a few moments later hey yo so i'm here at the qpython app let's just test around this code let's save and let's run now everything should work the same positive negative and neutral oh the newt is right here so we have the positive year the negative year and of course the neat is here so you can see how the qpython app is a bit different from the um, qpython 3 app in terms of ui and its graphics changes but basically everything else will work the same fine in terms of coding and everything let's try out the no and print out hey man and pause yo <laughs> and pause neg yo and let's try out um, the negative okay so let's try the negative let's try out the positive and it gives us hey man and pause yo and let's try out the neutral which is a bit tricky on the left side <laughs> see if it works fine and it does work fine hey hi it's hit me up boy i'm mute so that's all for this video guys please leave a like if you like subscribe and of course there's more videos for you to come so please 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 leave likes on this one it definitely helps me improve my channel that's all for now guys 